So as of recently, we've been covering a lot of leaks regarding Splash Damage's upcoming title, Transformers Reactivate. This includes things like Power Guide's model being leaked and presumably actually being cut from the game, according to a hint by ex-Bulkhead lead designer Neil Castle on Twitter. We've also had voice lines shown off from Optimus Prime, Knockout's model being shown off, and I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um... Oh yeah, the whole fucking opening cutscene to Transformers Rise was leaked. But this makes me realize I kind of miss speculating on things regarding this game. My last actual speculative video was about two months ago when we speculated about the 40th anniversary being a part of Reactivate's marketing. So today, let's take a dive into the speculation zone. Get your copium and hopium tanks out. Let's go. So, Jeff Keighley, the man to myth the legend himself, who introduced Transformers Reactivate to us 525 days ago, revealed the first wave of partners and companies who will be for sure making an appearance at Summer Games Fest on Friday, June 7th. This image includes companies like 2K, PlayStation, Xbox, Nexon, Deep Silver, Warner Brothers, hell, even fucking Ubisoft is on there. But there is a huge lack of Splash Damage's logo. Randomly, this did remind me that last year Jeff Keighley also released an image of the game devs who were using Unreal Engine 5 and Splash Damage's logo was among them. I wish their logo was on here too, but we can take a few things away from this information. One, we can take a huff of some of our copium and take a closer look at this image. This image says round one at the top. This at least proves that there will be more studios announced for Summer Games Fest in the coming weeks. Could Splash Damage's logo be among the round two reveal? Well, we will just have to wait and see on that one. The second option we have is to put the nail in the coffin already. Splash Damage's logo was not among the studios in this image, and you would think they would want the fans to know, hey, we will be at this event, and we're gonna show off our game here, sooner rather than later, as the fans have been very eagerly awaiting, and we are getting quite impatient. This happened last year with Summer Games Fest, as they released an image with the studios who will be there, but said that there will be more to come. They revealed another wave of studios who were attending, and Splash Damage's logo was not on that image. So, perhaps, we could be retreading some common history here. Now the third option we can think about, maybe they would like to surprise us once again. To my knowledge, no one knew that Splash Damage was attending the Game Awards in December of 2022, but yet the game was officially revealed to the public at that exact event. Maybe Splash Damage wants to keep it on the low for the massive surprise to fans and build up hype and anticipation that way, but as we have seen before, doing this marketing strategy does not fare well after the event is over, and we do not see anything, and they get a bunch of hate for it, even though they didn't even say anything. Which option do I think is more likely? Well, personally, I doubt Splash Damage will come right out and say that, hey, we're attending this event. They did not do it for Game Awards, and I doubt they will do it here. Could this game be at Summer Games Fest? For sure. Splash Damage's new community manager has been actively engaging with the community more and more as of recent. Maybe this is because something is coming? Who knows? Maybe this new community manager just likes us and likes interacting with the community. I think two things could happen. One, Splash Damage is a complete no-show for the event, and we go out into the doom and gloom until Gamescom, or even worse, Game Awards, once again. Or Splash Damage does in fact appear as a surprise, and we get a brand new look and re-announcement of Transformers Reactivate. Perhaps this time showing off more Autobots and Decepticons, gameplay, updated Unreal Engine 5 cutscenes, and more. Let me know if you think TFR will actually make an appearance at Summer Games Fest, or do you think it will be somewhere else? Thank you guys for the growth recently, it's been amazing. It's insane to me that we were just at 800 subscribers barely three weeks ago and we we're already nearing 1k so welcome to all the new people joining my crusade here is a screenshot of luna threatening me as a treat for making it all the way through this random video and uh yeah it's been t free beer i'll see you boys later